Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I was going to wait and do this later, but then I remember and just kind of like, um, list right now because I took some pictures yesterday again. Um, but then I remembered I've got some boxes. I thought it was like two or three boxes coming from my Shop Goodwill hauls. And then I saw I have four boxes coming from Shop Goodwill today. Um, I have one that came yesterday. I did already open it because um, I wasn't expecting it. So I was kind of like, okay, what is this? Because um, this is one that's not from my regular sh store. Um, but it was only two items. So I'll show you this now. And that is Seven for All Mankind. And the cool butt booty details I think these are 25 a lot of people don't like doing 25s but I'm size inclusive all sizes plus hopefully after I stop having quarantine body I will be back in 25 so anything that doesn't sell should be mine although um, I'm not a big fan of the boot or wide leg. You know, I grew up in the 70s and as a little kid and I think I was somehow traumatized by wide leg pants. Okay, so this, I was really excited for it to come in, um, but I am a little frustrated. I'm going to have to go um, see if I can ha get somebody to show me how to get this off. There's like white marks on here, but it feels like it's underneath the patent of the patent leather. It's, okay, so this light isn't giving that pink. Yeah, it's more of that pink. Sometimes when you get the light too close, it's like fluorescence pinks and reds. So, nice leather handle, really nice inside. And go there, go there. So I excited. Let's check for the here's my serial number thing. Oh no, I have to find that later because I have okay. So my car is not wanting to start. I'm pretty sure based on its symptoms that it is my um battery terminals are a little dirty be because um we've had some really strong rain which is awesome because we've been in the worst drought in 20 years following irma <laughs> and half the island on fire but um so because i drove through some um, areas where water splashed up underneath that's what I'm pretty sure so I went and got me a little um, terminal cleaner and you know it happened to be half off day um, so since um, my son's at work and I don't have a car until I get mine cleaned up and going <sighs> but I swore it was not going to be bad that I was going to just get stuff if it was super good. I say that every week that I go. It hasn't happened yet. So, um, I actually did like two purchases. Um, the first one was $295. And uh, I got... Uh, one pair of capris, one pair of like regular pants, 18 pairs of athletic um, pants, four pairs of women je women's jeans, um, 14 blouses, 33 tanks, um, and they like have all tanks. So it could be athletic wear, it could be like a, a you know like a regular tank like dressing. Um, two skirts, 33 dresses, one sweater, um, 15 t-shirts, and then on the second um, 
oh and not and nine pairs of men's jeans and then on the second purchase i think it was like 24 or so and i got this cute little purse and i paid way more than i'm not i'm just embarrassed to show how much i paid for it um so i paid a lot more than i normally do when i thrift um purses and this i don't even know if it's a thing or not and it's um, LJ Treasures but isn't that like the cutest thing ever and small bags are in and like it's not a twist it's just a flip down so you flip it up and then you open it so this is like two of the trends for summer as well as being flipping adorable which are flickered or straw bags and mini and it's got the little bamboo and rattan wrapped handles um but it's in such great shape that was like a big reason for getting it even though it costs a lot more than i would normally spend especially on something that i don't even know if it's a good brand or not but i think i think i i'm I know I can get my money back on it. So, hopefully I'll make a little too. Okay, so that, um, and then I also got five men's button downs and five men's t-shirts. So, that was like the second thing for $24. So, it was like, all together like 318-ish. Okay, and so we ended up with 56. So, like, 140 things-ish. So, I'll calculate it and put it on. Okay, so the things on top are the men's jeans. Um, so, and I actually need to check and see, because I was, it was, like, almost shut, shut time, because I actually went late, <laughs> just so I wouldn't have enough time to do, do bad. Yeah, I figured out how to do it. Um, so I didn't even look at the sizes on the men's. I just, like, if it's a, a brand that I think will do well, I just grabbed them. So there may be flaws, too. I tried to, to do it quickly. But, um, so these are Izod Comfort Stretch. Um, and they are 4032s. These are men's, but anybody can wear them, you know. So... All right. Um, so these are 4230s, it looks like. Yeah, 4230s. Um, but this is cool. This is like a new thing. It says water less. Care for our planet. Wash less. Wash cold. Line dry. Donate or recycle. Well. Somebody donated it and recycled it to me. So, a little bit of distressing on the front there. Pretty cool. Levi Strauss. And these are the 541s. I really don't know what the numbers mean. Because 501s much I think were what we had in my teen years. Okay, this is Ed Hardy. I have never found a pair of Ed Hardy pants before and I was like, yes! And these are Ed Hardy by Christian Adger. I knew it's a name and I not remembering what it was okay so these are 28 Ooh, isn't that cool it's like a heart cut in half and it's um 
kills. Love kills slowly. Wow. <laughs> Let's see. I just saw the Ed Hardy and I was like, yes, thank you very much. So I think these would do very well. They're in great shape. They have kind of a brownish wash to them. I'll just kind of cool looking. But yeah, I found some Ed Hardys. And then I gotta find out what they're worth. Is Ed Hardy still even a thing? Did I like fall for the not a thing? No. And it's got like the thing stuck in it still. Maybe that's why they're in such good shape. They pro he probably couldn't get the thing off. And so it just never worms. Like, okay, I give up. Just cut it off. It looks like it's like trapped in the, like between, because this is a thingy. So, we'll just cut that off. So, bed party jeans. So, they, these were like, yes, I'm so glad I had time to check them in. Okay, so now, these are 3430s, and these are silver tab, and um, it said a Levi's brand, so I went ahead and grabbed them. Um, I'll have to look those up, not really positive. Um, these are Relax Fit 3430s. And then they've got the silver tab. Levi's mm -hmm. on the back, and it's a silver tab. Those are pretty cool. Maybe they're like a premium line. Y'all are probably sitting here laughing at me, not knowing anything about silver dads and all that. Okay, so these are 550s. So maybe it has to do with like when they came out. And these are 3829s. 550s. This one doesn't really have as much any distressing. It's just a, a light wash. Did a light wash. Okay, so I should have uh, there are somewhere up there. Okay, so these are 505s, um, regular fit, and they are 3429s, 505s. And straight leg. And, um, Levi's. Okay, there you got your 505. Okay. I haven't got to get this. Okay, there's some shorts. And these are Levi Strauss signatures. I just did a Levi Strauss signature yesterday I took pictures of it. I don't know if I listed it yet or not. That's a women's, I think it's a women's 14. So, this is the Levi Strauss signature and it's my son's size. 36, 32. So, sorry guys. I'm going to have to throw these in my son's room because the other day I caught him wearing jeans with paint on them to work. Me. Okay, so 559s, 4232. And these are relaxed straight leg. 32, 32s. Oh, I like the wash on this. I like when it does that when it has like the white lines, kind of. It's almost like pen striped. And then you've got the the lines here. I like those lines. I mean, I, re I really like light wash too, but when you have a dark wash with those lines, I really love that. Makes them look fancy. It's actually more plaid. Okay, and then this should be the last pair. 
seven. No, this is eight. There should be one more. Men's. Okay, so these are also 505s and 3429s. This one has some. So, this one's got some extra distressing on this knee. Okay, so I don't know if this is still a thing. It, oh, dang. And it's messed up on the collar. And I'm really sad. Because I really, I, I remember the, this company. So I can, I'm hoping I can get it out. There's like a little, couple little spots right there. But it's Echo United. I don't know if it's still a thing. It was a thing back in the day and it's got the but it's a really fun button down shirt yeah I'm going to try and get those spots out because this is really cool and then it also has so like if you fold the sleeve up it's got that same print on the pops and then on the pocket it also has the Echo United yeah. I like this. I like their stuff with um, rhinosaurs. Rhinosaurs. <sighs> it's like really <laughs> too early in the morning for this. Rhinos. Okay, so story time. When my son was young, like, I started him going to sleepaway camps really early because I really wanted him to get to have that experience you know, and test his bounds and be able to kind of go and be free and so a lot of times I would send them to SeaWorld or Bush Gardens um, and so the last year that he went um, even though he was just 12 he was in 10th grade so he was with the careers um, and it like counted it counted as high school credit um, like it was biology credits or something. So he was at, um, Bush Gardens for both weeks. Yeah. So he was at Bush Gardens for both weeks. And, um, the second week, um, was like the advanced class. So it was like the, the beginning class of it. And then the advanced class and you could do both or just one. So the second week, when he's in the advanced class they actually like part of the their grading or you know being able to finish the class is they actually have to lead a discussion for part guest and my son actually got rhinos and or no hippos he got hippos and so my son goes through the whole thing you know, he tells all, you know, all the details and everything he researched and is going to share. And this man says, so this is what happens when the rhino's tusk falls off, it becomes a hippo. My son had no clue how to address that and he was like no they're different and the counselor is like yes that's exactly right how astute of you so he like totally then went into like this whole thing about how the rhino horn falls off and then it becomes a hippo so same rhinosaurus maybe okay it wasn't as funny as i thought isn't it on a Father's Day? Call it, you know, like dad joke story time. Okay, so Chadwick's of Boston. Boston. Um, I'm of a certain age. So, even though I do like carrying, having cute things that I would totally wear because my inner 20 year old says that I should. 
Um, I also like the prim and proper. Um, so I like these. I like a lot of Chadwick stuff. Is that another spot? No. Okay. Um, so I got two, I think, of this brand. Um, it's called Shoreline. And they're just like really fun little beach um, beachwear. I like the little add on to put on your neck. Oh, it's supposed to go there. It's got the little bit of stretch here. Isn't that cute? It's kind of, it does have paisley in it, which I'm not a big fan of, but it's as a decoration to kind of like peacock feathers all over is kind of the vibe I'm getting. And you got your elastic back. So awesome. So that's shoreline. And I'm not sure what the other one is. Okay, and this, surprisingly, I was very excited because normally stuff with tags is extra. Um but this one wasn't, and it was, it's an Erica printed halter dress by Blue Velvet, and the tag price is $124, so about half of this haul, so, um, based on, like, the normal... 75 50 to $75 markup that you can do on stiff new with tags. Um, this should cover a quarter of my haul. So, yay. And it's super cute. Okay, so this one, you know, I don't know that it's Oh, this was the other thing that was shoreline. So, this is more of like a cover up, I think. But you could wear it. Actually, I think it's a kimono. And uh, one of the little tassels is missing. I didn't realize that. I thought this was like, when I grabbed it, I was thinking this was like a sash. But. I'll just cut off the other one. I don't know that it was supposed to be there. But isn't that a cute little kimono kind of cover up? And it's got some loose string. But it's got the, the flare bell sleeves. So, super cute. I saw it. I'll just hope to cut this off. That's all right. It looks cute. It looks cute without it too. Yeah, that'd be good. So two things from Shoreline, aka Beachwear. Okay, now this I need to look at more too. So this didn't have a name on it, but it had a dry cleaning tag. So dry cleaning tag. Oh no, wait, I did find a name on it. Never mind. But I don't know if it's good or not. Because every time I go to Goodwill on half off day, my phone is dead and or covered by clothes. So I can't look stuff up. So I just kind of go on my gut and things that I would buy. So, all right. So this is MSK. To size 12. Wasn't that cool? It's like um, one of those stretching. We had these a lot. I can't remember if it was the 90s or the 80s. They were cool and all, but like my hair would constantly get caught in the spring. So I kind of hated them for that. And then it's got like a little chain that you clip in the back it's a little twisted up top so 
All right, but so that's enough about the top. We're gonna be here all day. Okay. But it is a gorgeous black and gold gown. And it's like a black with gold sheer over the opaque. And it's bloused at the top. Isn't this gorgeous? I love it. It's, it gives me a very vintage 80s kind of feel. Maybe early 90s. Okay. This is another wild one. And this thing's heavy, so <laughs> forewarning. This thing would, is probably going to, if you're wanting to do a bundle, this is probably going to be 30 pounds on its own. <laughs> it's got all of these cool beads and faux pearls and rhinestone-y, like black rhinestone-y things. And then it's got pretty starfish on this. It's not really dusty rose, but it's a nice caftan. And then it's like the caftan where short caftan, so like little co beach cover up where it's got the drawstring for the waist and look at the the bobbles turn around I'm trying to do the YouTube trick cooperate okay there we go isn't that adorable so those are on at the end but yeah this thing is heavy so I Realistically, I think it's it's bordering on three pounds. Is that okay? And it is by Casa de Galique. Casa de Galique, I think. So, very cool. I love this pink. So there's lots of cover ups. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is a thing, but it's Valerie Bertinelli. <laughs> and it's an extra large. And it's a nice color. And it's got my favorite v neck. This is the first dress that I grabbed. And again, don't know if the brand is a big one or not. It's um, Montu Los Angeles. It's a small, it's a gorgeous little linen shift dress. And, then, and it is lined. Oh, it's so cute. I love this. Let me see. What you, I'm pretty sure it's. It's cotton or linen, I'm pretty sure. It feels like linen, but it might be cotton. So that's what I'm gonna check. It is cotton. It's 100% cotton. That is good cotton. It is, it feels just so good. And then it's got the keyhole on the back of the back. Love it. Okay. All right. Here's one of the men's t-shirts. I got like a couple of these because they had them in different um, colors. And it's G.A. Bass, G.H. Bass Earth. And these are 100% cotton made in India. Extra large. So you have your blue. Oh, we'll find the other colors as we go. Serena Williams um, signature statement. This was kind of cool too. It's like a long asymmetrical t-shirt. But it's long enough you can wear it for a dress. You could wear it for a beach cover-up. It's got little tassels on the bottom. So I love this color. Nice 
and it is another one where we'll put it back there to show the true color okay this was in the men's shirt section and you know guys yeah i know i love a good graphic tee with nerdville stuff on it so supercharged pokemon pikachu so that'll probably do really well this one i mainly got it because of the print it's really nice tropical print print and bark on the back it's like upside down in some places well it's upside down in front too so that is western connection i did get several tropical shirts because you know people need to go on vacation now after all this um i just grabbed fitness stuff even if i didn't know what it was so this is series eight fitness extra large i love that fierce isn't that awesome love that so anyone who wants to be fierce okay then we have lazy dog which this is a um a hanes shirt so i don't know if hanes made it as lazy dog or if somebody bought a bunch of hanes shirts and printed um lazy dog on it but I liked it and it is a size small so things lazy dog I'm not calling you lazy dog choo -choo. okay um fabletics yes thank you and I had sworn off I was not going to get anything black. Let me show you a little logo. Um, but I did get black in fitness wear just because that's a lot. Uh, that's like a big thing is black. So there's more of it. So when I see something good for athletic. So. But for the most part, I did stay away from black. So we have Everlast Large, nice V-neck, love the V-neck, okay, and this is Nike, and it does have the included beverage areas, and this is a Nike Fit Dry, instead of Dry Fit, it says Fit Dry. No. I need to look that up because now I'm like, wait, fit dry? It's a dry fit. I'm confused. So I'm gonna have to look this up and see if it's a knockoff and they didn't know how to say dry fit. Okay, so I'm gonna move that over there to investigate that. Okay, this is Calvin Klein. I love, I love these prints where like it's, you just lay the shirt down and then you do the print. So everyone is going to be different, like how they're, how they end up being laid down and printed. So cool. And it's like snake skin and it has the little silver things in the front. Yeah. I think I'm going to do each bag separately just because this is taking off. Oh, isn't this cute? The little peplum. And caution to the wind. I, didn't, I, I think it's one of those revolver um, one of those stores I think. So it's just, it's it's nice it's like textured so it's like the white is ribbed and then it's got, got the little faux wrap and peplum so cute all right we're almost done with this bag and then i'm going to turn it off 
stretch out my back and then I will do the next bag and then we'll do the last bag so there's gonna be a lot of videos because I'm not sure with four boxes coming those may end up having to be done one at a time too so this is department 222 it is a petite small it's so cute got the little split neck V sheer or not and this is navy and white not black and white just in case okay and this is and Taylor extra small this feels like so but it's probably polyester uh, it is polyester it's a very silky polyester adorable okay now another one that I can't remember if this is a good brand or not I know I've heard it before Kato Kato oh, look it's an owl it's so cute and it's kind of like a boho owl I loved him. And it is a size medium. And I love the little owl. And it's not printed. It's an um, applique. So you've got lace and cloth. Oh my gosh. My legs leaning up against the Ikea bag. It's all bloody. Okay. Boo dogs. Georgia Bulldogs nice little um distressed Georgia Bulldog team shirt and it is um licensed Coliseum I saw I saw like two things that I wanted to get but when I checked the tags it didn't have official license so I didn't get it because I wasn't sure and I think it was another collegiate yeah it was another collegiate um, men's shirt you know just basically a tee it could be anybody's tee um, but yeah so make sure that was something I wanted to make sure that I add as a tip um, if anybody's still here um make sure that you always check especially if something's disney college um nfl nba those places they have lots of lawyers and they will they don't care they will come after you mama's sitting at home trying to sell some they will come after you especially disney disney is very litigious so always check and make sure it's got the official licensing in there somewhere or don't do it. See you guys in a little bit.